Clinical Breast Examination To begin the clinical breast examination, the examiner must wash his or her hands and don the appropriate personal protective equipment. Take a courteous, gentle approach while introducing oneself to the patient. Let the patient know that he or she is about to examine her breasts. This may be a good time as well to ask if she has noticed any lumps or other breast problems and enhance her awareness of screening guidelines, including techniques for self-examination, if requested. Start with the inspection. Remember that adequate exposure must be maintained for all inspection steps. This is done while the patient is seated with her arms at the sides, arms above the head, hands pressed against the hips, and while the patient is leaning forward. While the patient is seated with her arms at the sides, compare both breasts. Note the color, any thickening or enlarged pores, the size, symmetry, contours, and any retraction or dimpling. Note also the nipple's size, shape, direction, any rashes, ulcers, discharge, or inversion. The axilla is also inspected for any rash, lesion, mass, or unusual pigmentation. Proceed with the palpation of the breasts. This is done while the patient is supine with ipsilateral hand behind her head. Palpate for consistency, tenderness, or nodules. Using a systematic approach, such as wedge, circular, vertical, or horizontal strip pattern, palpate in small, concentric circles with a second, third, and fourth finger pads completely palpate the breast. Palpate the nipple to check for elasticity and compress the areola for any discharge. The axilla may be palpated while the patient is sitting or lying supine with her arms relaxed by the sides. Palpate the central lymph nodes. Using a slightly cupped hand, Place the tops of the fingers in the apex of the axilla, pointing towards the mid-clavicle. Press inwards against the chest wall and slide hand down. Use the left hand to examine the right axilla and the right hand to examine the left. Palpate the pectoral lymph nodes. Grasp the anterior axillary fold between the thumb and fingers and palpate inside the border of the pectoral muscle. Palpate the infraclavicular lymph nodes just below the clavicle bilaterally and the supraclavicular lymph nodes just above the clavicle. Then assess any enlarged nodes for size, shape, consistency, mobility, and tenderness. Remember that adequate draping should be maintained for all steps. After the examination, thank the patient inform her of the findings of the exam and document properly. Breast self-examination The breast self-examination is best timed 5 to 7 days after menses when hormonal stimulation of the breast tissue is low. This is done while standing and lying supine. While standing in front of a mirror with your hands pressing firmly down on your hips, Look at your breasts for any changes of size, shape, contour, or dimpling, or redness, or scaliness of the nipple or breast skin. Then examine each underarm while sitting up or standing, and with your arm only slightly raised so you can easily feel in this area. Raising your arm straight up tightens the tissue in this area and makes it harder to examine. Lie down with a pillow under your right shoulder. Place your right arm behind your head. Use the finger pads of the three middle fingers on your left hand to feel for lumps 
in the right breast. The finger pads are the top third of each finger. Make overlapping, dime-sized, circular motions to feel the breast tissue. Examine the breast in an up-and-down or strip pattern. Start at an imaginary straight line under the arm, moving up and down across the entire breast from the ribs to the collarbone until you reach the middle of the chest bone or the sternum. Remember how your breast feels from month to month. Apply three levels of pressure in each spot, light, medium, and firm, using firmer pressure for tissue closest to the chest and ribs. If you're not sure how hard to press, talk with your healthcare provider or try to copy the way the doctor or nurse does it. Repeat the examination in your left breast using the finger pads of the right hand. If you find any masses, lumps, or skin changes, see your clinician right away.